From the world of comedy, entertainment, journalism and business, some of Britain's best-loved celebrities have a job to do. Fashion guru Gok Wan. I am going to be the most competitive person ever to go on British television. Comedian and presenter Ruby Wax. I think I'll bring the Rottweiler quality to the group. I will bite anybody who gets in front of me. Comedian Alan Carr. I don't care about being popular, because I'm a bitch. You can't see my claws now, but you will see them by the end. Ten volunteers here to fight it out to raise money for comic relief. Their biggest challenge, prove their business skills to Britain's most belligerent boss. No one's going to make a fool out of me. I think this has been a bloody disaster. You went out and lost me money. Self-made millionaire and tough businessman, Sir Alan Sugar expects the candidates to focus on winning. They'll have to put stardom to one side and work as teams. Oh, right, so we don't Michelle, need this. don't speak to me like that. We don't need this. Don't speak to me like that. We've I don't need you to keep do it telling tonight. me what to do. So go and get on with your job and I'll get on with mine. <laughs> Hi, Sir Alan. <laughs> you in particular have got to keep it brief when you're out there, because otherwise it's going to... What? Yeah. If you're going to say something negative, you've got to say two things positive. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm lost. You're fired. You're fired. You are a total shambles. You're fired. Ten celebrities here to put talent and creativity to work for comic relief. We can go through to the boardroom now. First of all, let me thank you all for giving up your valuable time. It is for a tremendous cause, comic relief, as you know. I know that you're quite used to your world of show business, this kissy-kissy, lovey-lovey, huggy-huggy, love-it-darling world. Uh, well, this is a different world here. This is the cruel, hard world of business. And there's some bright people here. Don't underestimate them. Carol, what's... Three to the power of three, take away seven, for example. Uh, three to the 27, take away seven, 20. See? See what I mean? This well, is bright. Ask me a question, then. What's the first letter of the alphabet and the first <laughs> letter of your name? Give A. Well, there you are. See, so it goes to show you, girls. We've got, uh, we've got brilliant people on both sides here. Now, um, welcome to the boardroom. Jonathan, of course, very well known and I hope that uh, you're going to suppress your childishness in, the, in this task and uh, get down to some real serious business, you know, because um, one of you, you know, will get fired here. And let me introduce you to Michelle Moan, who's got a fantastic business in lingerie. A business lady is going to assist the women's team. Gerald, the businessman on the men's team, thank you for giving up your valuable time. Gerald Ratner now runs an online jewellery business. Men, you have got no excuse here. You've got a man here who knows all about margins, knows about pricing, knows about marketing and all that stuff. The task this time is all about designing a product. The product is a toy aimed at the five to eight-year-old children's market. Yeah? Um, you not only have got to design the toy, you've got to come up with the packaging, You've got to come up with an advertising campaign. And at the end of all of this, you're going to be in front of a load of industry gurus who will assist me in making a decision as to which team has come up with the most viable proposition. The good news is, as far as comic relief is concerned, is that if this toy is drop-dead brilliant, one of these gurus might license 
the winning team's product and therefore go on and make some money for comic relief. Excellent. Yeah? OK. It's a good idea. I'm glad you like the idea, yeah. Ruby. Good. <coughs> Alan, uh, are you looking forward to this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, OK. Mm. I'm still working out what the first letter of the alphabet is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, following the uh, men's team in previous years was Margaret. And because they lost a couple of times, I think I'm going to kind of mix it up a bit and I'm going to get Margaret to follow the girls' team this Aww. time. Yeah? No, we will. <laughs> yeah. Nick will be following the men's team. Yeah? Nick Good. is more cross, though. A bigger pardon? Nick looks like he's just already angry with us. What do you think, Gok? Do you think you can do a makeover on him? A blue rinse, ditch, dip, ditch the bins or something? <laughs> I'd like to see if you look good naked. Yeah, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so, everything clear? Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, good luck. I'll see you back in this boardroom where one of you will be fired. Off you go. Thank, Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is exciting, isn't it? Thank yeah. you. The teams have just three days to design and pitch a new toy into a market worth over two billion pounds. Yeah. Do you know what we need to do, actually, well, we need to get on the telephone to Hamleys and we need to talk to the marketing managers to see what is what are they selling oh, you see, at the you're moment. You're so organised, Cock. I'd be like, oh, let's have a cup of tea. Yes. I'm going to start. Are there in, okay, so in London then. Who is it? Who is it? It's the girls. <laughs> There's no question that the girls will win. Yeah, there's I mean, no we're, we're, Well, the secret is, we believe that we have already won this. And if there's any <laughs> doubt, we all need to... Then yeah. we kill that person. Yeah. If there's any yeah. doubt, we just throw them out of the car. Exactly. Yeah. Sir Alan has based both teams here, one of London's top hotels. In return, he wants three days of dedication and hard work. Oh, come on. Walk. Race. Come on. Come on. You oh. can be pink. Go on. All Who's right, come on, man. I swear to God, I'll win. Right. You've, got to wind, well, you've got to mind the sharp edges on the table. I'll tell you, you go that no, side. I'm sorry. It's down to the end, round the table, first one to the door. Are you ready? All right. Go. 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 Oh, bloody. You're cheating. So, first thing first. Yes. Is who's going to become the team leader? While the boys play, for the girls, it's straight down to business. We have a, you know, a very short amount of time in which to do an awful lot. And I think we do need uh, someone who's got the experience of doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I would say Michelle. But I will be a pain That's in fine. the back. That's so perfect. perfect. You have no idea. Good. 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 I just focus I on the end result. That's and that's it. We're going there. Okay. And if you have can to we... stay up all night, you'll bloody well stay up all night. Fine. Yeah. So who can we well, have a vote? That's what we need. You're doing, doing it. You're doing it. Sorry. Sorry. I promised my husband I wouldn't do this. I'm a perfectionist. I'm impatient. I have OCD, which, you know, gets in a lot of people's nerves. The real entrepreneurs are born with it. But a lot of us are cycles. <laughs> and I know that sometimes I can be a cycle. <laughs> Anyone particularly want to be project manager? I'd, li I'd like as well. Okay, so would I. Okay, anyone like to disallow either of us due to either irritation <laughs> factor, <laughs> noise, general cabinet? I'll, I'll throw a curveball in here. Right, I propose Gerald. I'm not sure any of us have got experience in actually seeing a project like this through from, from idea to finished product. Yep. Is that a fair comment? Fair comment, absolutely. absolutely. What do you feel, Alan, about this? Well, I don't know. If you want to, I think it depends you've got a bit of the right level of enthusiasm. Because I think with you, you get so enthusiastic. I think it will be like Baron Munchausen. I think oh, you'll I be like, ah! Yeah. And I think Gerald, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Gerald, do you accept the uh, poison I'm challenge? Take it on. I'm humbled, but if somebody else wants to do it, I'm very happy as well. It doesn't bother me either way. Well, I'll, I'll do it then. Oh, do you mean okay. that? <laughs> there are a lot of comedians on board, <laughs> um, but, you know, which I like, because I like laughing. Um, but we don't want to just laugh the whole time and lose. My idea was based on trend and based on branding. Led by Gerald, his team's first job, come up with a toy. 
Years ago, when I was younger, um, there was a huge trend for yo-yos. It's retro, adults like it because I remember it from when they were younger, and it's just a simple product. Sure. See, the problem with yo-yos is not innovative. Kids love the idea of people helping each other. Yeah. We all love it, and that's why we're here as well. Okay. I was thinking about little space aliens right. that have come from another planet, traveling through the universe, helping other planets in need. And then you sell, after the event that, the other stuff. So, for example, you sell livestock they take with them. You sell medicine and little nurse uniforms for them yeah. to go through space. Very, so very girls ambitious. and boys like it. It's unbelievably ambitious. These yeah. companies that have produced these sort of collecting things have thrown 200 million pounds, 500 million pounds. All, but, they, but we know we haven't got that money. We know that's why that we time. shouldn't try and compete with them. Well, I don't think we can focus on how hard it is to do this or how difficult it is and how many people fail. I think what we've got to do is just say, okay, we need to come up with something. Yeah. Let's come up with something that we're all reasonably comfortable with that we think we can sell. I think the task is a great task, it's a very exciting task, and the danger is I'm fairly persuasive. It's basically going to be down to whether Jack or Gerald stick up to me if I get my head of steam up, because with the best will in the world, I don't want to sell them a bad idea, but if I think it's a good idea, I'm going to try and sell it, and we might, and I might then be the one, the idiot, who everyone at home is saying, you are an idiot. God, well, I thought this would okay, be Okay, let's run through. We've got soft toy, yeah. we've got transformer toy, yeah. we've got purely creative thing. What about something they put on and when if her brother and sister or friend hugs her, it makes a really funny noise? A suit, a hugging suit that just makes really funny noises. Okay, can, can I suggest a, a What about a suit made out of Velcro so they stick to each other? Oh, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Okay, that so goodness. that if you have a party, like yeah. they can all click yes, together they and then they can pull arms. away. But they, yes, but they stick to each other. Let's stick together. Oh, yes. That's good. Yes. High five. Yes. All right. We're, we're thinking about this belt idea and we're looking for a name for this belt, which is essentially a belt with different collectible figures yeah. uh, which the kids can buy individually. Oh. But this yeah. belt, now I'm actually thinking the belt, it should be leather or leather look. Oh no, not really. yeah. it shouldn't be leather. No, 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 no. leather's a bit wrong. Leather's not. But it shouldn't no. be chain because a boy no, 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 no. no. Plastic. It it does. Does. There are other things since. Yeah, no, I'm just discussing be... what the material is. It's like having Chaucer in the room. We shall charge one groat for each chain belt and two groat for the leather and chain. <laughs>
are on the hunt for collectible toys. See so there, collect figurines, right? These are quid each. Well, you could sell them like that. That's a great point. Yeah, we could sell them like this at so the front of the shop. Get a photo of that. Presumably they sell extremely well because they're right at the front of you. They, do, they do they sell, sell well? well? Yeah, incredibly, yeah, especially right next to the parking machine. I thought Pokemon's finished though, it's still going. It's still going strong, yeah. How much are those each? Pound. OK, here we go. That's just to show Gok and Adam what we're talking about. I think it might be worth asking Sam what he thinks of the idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Have you heard of Gerald Ratner? He tells some very funny stories. Mr. Maybe later. <laughs> OK, what we're going to try and um, offer is a belt. Like maybe it'll be black with a lightning bolt eye or something like that. And it has hooks on it. And you buy different collectible figures, or maybe like from the machine out the front, or your mum or dad will get you. And you try and collect some spacemen, some space monsters, some aliens, cavemen, some cavemen, dinosaurs. some dinosaurs, and swap them with your friends until you've got the set of them. So and you... this is a swap belt? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a swap belt. Yeah. And you put... Is there such a thing as a swap belt out already? Um, no. Do you think the That's kids would like a swap belt? Yeah. Swap, swap belt is actually a better name than we've got. Yeah, we were name. thinking of calling the things on it click it, but do you think swap belt is clip it? Um, swap belt is good. I yeah, prefer okay. swap belt. <laughs> Five p.m. At the designers, Ruby, Carol, and Michelle arrive with ideas for their sticky suit. Cheers, I'm Michelle. Nice to meet Michelle. Lovely to meet you. Hi there, Jess. Jess. <laughs> I know we're going to have to go like this. Still, hold still. Okay. Stick. Stuck. <laughs> Isn't it good? Stick. Stuck. Isn't that fun? <laughs> But if you got a whole bunch of kids together like that, <coughs> because like I'd have to go like this if I was sticking down here. And yeah, then, or if that's like thing. yellow knee to red. Yeah. Right, so right, in the right. pack mm. then, mm. you need to have two, two outfits. Suits. Two yeah. suits. Yeah, because you need yeah. two to play the game. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Cost is, is key here as well mm. because we've got to make a profit and the retailer's got to make a profit as well. Mm. What we probably do is look at some other suits on the market and we've got some books and things out yeah, here yeah, and I see, know. see, see roughly what some of those suits are selling for to give us an idea. Yeah. We, then, we thought 15 to 20 pounds, yeah, and these thought. are 15 to 20 pounds. Yeah. I think it's good, I mean, you've got a good idea. I mean, Do it? you? Yeah, it's a nice little I'm so pissed off, it's, it's for comic idea. relief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pissed off. We could have made some money. We could do three or four space warriors, yep. spacemen with guns, yep. right, or space trappers or space hunters, yep. and four or five alien prey. At their designers, the boys are working on their swap belt idea. I'm telling you, we don't need to be any more complex than that or any bigger. We just need it to have a little hook okay. on it. OK. And you could do that for how much, do you think? 25, 30 cents would, would see it. 20p. Yeah. Minimum Shipped. order, what would we have to order? You'd to, want to be making these that by their tens of thousands, tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands. I still don't think you get it for 99p, even if you get it for 20p. Well, you see, but hold it, how, how come they're doing this? They're doing this for pound and they're making a good profit. Well, it's because it's to do with quantities. I should think they're massive quantities if they're outside yeah, the shops. We'll be big quantities. We won't be talking about those sort of quantities. Well. And if we do base our price on a ridiculous quantity like that, we'll be laughed out of court. Too late now, we've committed. No, I'm just thinking about that. No, we are okay, here we go. So, I'm just, I am sceptical because I'm worried. I don't want to get the wrong product and I don't want to fail. You know, Jonathan is full of ideas um, and, you know, he, he is very, very creative but I'm not going to just accept, you know, everything that he, he comes out with and, and think it's a good idea, because it's not all a, a good idea. 9 p.m. Time to head back to London. You've got your swap belt and you've got your swap characters. Or yeah, that, characters... I know, you're, you're looking for something pithy. But yeah, rather than characters. Swap, swap characters doesn't do it for me. No, I, I wasn't suggesting that, but no. it's got to be swap, question mark. Swappers. 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 No. Swippers. Slappers. If they get stolen, I suppose that's swap lifting, really, isn't it? Swap, swap, swap already. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jewish. <laughs> Oi, swap already. Uh, and we have you at the end with a Yamakorn going, Oi, swap already. <laughs> Alan will love that. <laughs> Day two. Built overnight by the design company, the girls prototype. I wish life was like this, don't you? You ask and you get. Oh, wow! Oh, that is incredible! Look at that! Oh, wow! Oh, my God! Oh, cool. oh, Isn't that cool? Oh, my God! What kid wouldn't want this? Look, we my kids would love that. Okay, do the... Honestly, <laughs> my kids would just love it. Is that good?
What? The toys are there! Oh, the toys are there! Yay! Oh my god, the toys are there! That's the packaging. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. That. I love it. That's pretty good. Well, where, see, where are the things to hang yeah, on? Yeah, that's the problem. You're looking at it without these things hanging on it. Well, hopefully they've got some have of those. Have they not made any? Coming. Not that that's here. Is that the yeah. there anything else? Not in here. They must, the belt doesn't look great Absolutely. without any characters. That, it's got to no, be... No, no, the, the belt... Oh, it's the toy. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, Alan! Sorry! I was worried there because there's no way... You're fired! <laughs> no, this is going to look so <laughs> yeah. good. There's no way. Okay, Grabbing okay. away right, the toy. Right, so listen, I don't want to close ranks on Alan here, but we're going to... Ha if we do this, we, you're going to have to go in the ballroom with some of Can I suggest yeah. Alan already? Can we just go because in the ballroom? Can you believe window? they made that, that in about 12 hours? What little girl wouldn't want to have... Mippy, that the space nice. bunny, yeah. hanging off her belt. All right? I don't think that's, anyone's not going to want fabulous. It. 10 a.m. Armed with their prototypes, the team split up. They're off to make their TV commercials. I want to arrange that shot where we've got the box on the side, and so we can pan along the box or in the background, and in the background you see slightly out of focus the mum waiting a little girl running in. Mm. Then we come Heading for their location, Jonathan and Jack. I, I don't think that it was ever going to be a case where you weren't going to direct this commercial. But the terrible thing I don't think is... that could have ever possibly have happened. I think if Alan Sugar had rung up and said, you know what, you've done very well, I've organised a treat for you, we've got Steven Spielberg to come and do the commercial for you, I think you would still say, thanks very much, but I'll be directing it. Yeah. Stephen can do that the tea. That has been... I wouldn't be surprised if a cigar comes out by the end of the day, actually, because I can see that you're going... Don't make going, me seem like... Don't I make me would, seem that what I'm not. I'm very surprised if that doesn't happen. For the girls, Patsy has put herself in the director's chair. What I want to do is speak to the camera crew that are shooting the advert, because obviously they're experts at doing this sort of stuff, and just try and get as much help from them, really, as I possibly can, because I'm not a camera woman. That's true for any director, actually. I've seen fantastic directors turn to camera crews for help, so that's OK. Possibly hid his broken leg behind the ears of the bunny rabbit or something. There's a conversation you never thought you'd be having, isn't it? 11am. At a house in West London, Jack helps Jonathan set up his first shot. That looks nice already, don't you think? Jack, what do you think? Yeah, it's, it's all right, yeah. It's it brings it out a bit more, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Can you, Jack, do you believe the, the, the you know what, crew are laughing you've, at No, me? you've introduced a different texture to it, so yeah. I think that's fantastic. Deliberately. Hey, girls, this is what we're talking about today. This is a new belt that we're, we bought. And you, you wear it and you buy all these different toys. If you just crack on now, Casper, we'll get the quality work done while Jonathan's with, it, with his usual mental age group. Turn on your back. You turn on your back. They seem to be loving the suit. I just think they look so fantastic. On their shoot, the girl stars get stuck in. It's just so brilliant when we first put the outfits on Rihanna and George and they just laughed and giggled and started sticking themselves to each other. And I don't know, it really feels as though it's coming together now. I don't want to be too complacent because it could all go wrong. Ready? And go. Stitch up. Go till you drop. At a central London recording studio, thank you. Gok, Gerald, and Alan need to cook up a catchy jingle. I'm not doing cut, cut, collect it. Should I just go in there yeah. and sing them? And then, because it's not as if I'm going to come up with, like, the new, um, do you know what I mean? Um, Something might hit you just as Candle you in the wind, am I, sitting here? <laughs> Oi, gangster bitch. Big up. Big up. Is it? I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Use it, swap it, collect it, clip it, trade it, swing it, keep it. <laughs> Use it, don't lose it, swap it. <laughs> We've lost. We've lost. Trade it. Buy it. Swap bell. Don't you love it when you swap it? <laughs> Alan? <laughs> Alan? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then? Is that good? Yeah. Don't well, they look a bit dated? Don't they look a bit? Yeah, someone's house actually, Jonathan, if you want to just take a bit of care with it. Not pulling a mugger off your granny and just pulling Look, that is fine. Place. That's a bit flat on, you know, that. It's box the other way. Yeah, yeah. Cl clock it the but other way. But bear in mind, this is way. an establishing shot to get into the longer shot, which is yeah. the... Um, the... It'd be still, it'd be still would be good if it was a nice shot. It's got a point there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're laughing, but it's not funny. <laughs> Carol, Ruby and Michelle are giving their stick-stuck jingle the girl group treatment. Lyrics. <laughs> lyrics. I'm just not used to this. This is frightening. No, no, you'll be fine. Show me two words. <laughs> just show your teeth. Is that right? <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> stick, stuck. It's a beautiful language. Too bad you ruined it. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not straight, that, Mike. <laughs> there we go. Stick, stick stuck! stuck. Stick stuck. Stick stuck. Stick stuck. Stick stuck. Stick stuck. Stick stuck. <laughs> She's terrible. <laughs> She's just. I can't work with her. What happened? She's all over. She can't do An it. An early menopause. <laughs> she can't do it. <laughs> Tomorrow, the teams will have to launch their adverts here at London's County Hall. Today, the teams get a look at the rooms they must theme and dress. And here is the room. It looks rather small, or is this just the beginning bit? I thought it would be lot, bigger, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It'll be a tight squeeze. We can't change it, so I think we go for it. This is the big bit for me of the challenge because um, everyone knows me as the stylist and as the design person. So I do feel at the moment I need to reinvent Gucci. Do we agree both from the ceiling coming oh, down, which yeah. makes it feel quite fantasy? Um, I think we need to drape each window as well. We need to make it look as flamboyant and gorgeous and opulent yeah, as possible. Because at the moment it looks like a classroom. Yeah, okay. It's gonna, I'm, I'm bricking it because also, another thing, I don't know what they've got in the prop houses. I don't know what they've got in the costumier place. And everyone thinks that I can just rustle up 25,000 outfits and, and a space, deck it out, in about three and a half minutes. And I'm actually feeling a little bit annoyed now. I'm not happy. But you know, if there's something in there he doesn't like, it's going to look to you. Of course. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Hi, Colin. Well, listen. Where are we going to now, love? Cricklewood. Oh, God, how far away is that now? Just right, next, next door to Yorkshire, I think. So it's not that it's that far, but this is the worst road in Europe. OK, I'm going to make a strict rule now in this car. Mm. If you're going to say something negative, you've got to say two things positive. Because I'm about to start self-arming. <laughs> <laughs> 5 p.m. Ruby, Michelle, and Carol are on the hunt for props and costumes. My precious. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Michelle, when she does her speech, <gasps> that is wouldn't that's that be me. brilliant? That I, would I be don't brilliant. Need to that 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 is, no, but couldn't you wear that? Watch that one. Yeah, please try it on. <laughs> Can I get that one? Can I get one down? <laughs> Hi, Sir <Sarah> Alan. <laughs> I've got the hair. Is that nice? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's doing your product no good. No, it's not at all. I hate these things. Alan, so we've got a lot of spirit. <laughs> just, just seriously with your briefcase. I can't do this. Yes, you can. It's, I can. It's for kids. It's for kids. It's for Africa. You just come out like that and read her speech seriously. <laughs> If we lose and I pick two people that get in the boardroom, I'm there's going. two of you. I promise. <laughs> I can, I'll go. I'm not getting fired over this thing. Oh, no, no, I'll go <laughs> if you wear that suit. Bye, thanks. Bye bye. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're cooking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, God. There is no such thing as over the top with this. Yeah. It needs to be fun, it needs to be... It needs, there's adults' opportunity for an hour to go back to being kids again. 8.15pm. 
Running late, Gok takes control of dressing the boys' event. The next one is princesses. And so, of course, it's basically, you imagine, if Jordan was to throw up, what would come out? Yeah. Basically, it's pinks and it's glitter and it's girly and it's netting and it's chiffons and it's, and it's the full works. There's all that kind of stuff. Is that cool? I'm feeling a bit stressed out about it, but I there isn't much time to do it. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. We need a wand, a tiara. Right. Gloves, like elbow-length satin gloves. Okay. Full works and a massive underskirt. Is that cool? Right. Leather waistcoat, big belt. We need obviously the hat. That's it. Moustache. Yeah. There's not enough time. Excuse me, I'm lost. Do you look sexy? No. Oh, I don't think Doc's taking it serious. No, no, you're not clearly not. I thought yeah. you were very in competitive. Fact, yeah, I think you've been I slacking. You've been slacking. You did bugger all enough. in that bloody prop house. Yeah. You bugger all. I don't have ever not wanted to be in a car so much in my entire life. Day three. At County Hall, the teams have just eight hours before they must present their new toys to Sir Alan and his industry experts. Oh. Ruby, Carol and Michelle have agreed to dress the girls' room. Are we going to do wall things? I don't know. <gasps> My yeah, mannequins, that's all I care about. It's going to look like something from Dr. Crip in there. I know people are going to steal this and start using it for bar mitzvahs and weddings. But you have to go through me. You cannot do this without me. It's Timing everything to the second, project manager Michelle. So dancers come on black only. Ruby then comes onto yeah. stage, keep 40 seconds. Ruby introduces Carol, 30 seconds. Yeah. Ruby and Carol introduces Dice Man Patsy, and you play the game for three minutes. So it's 120 minutes, 180 minutes, 180 seconds. Sorry. Correct, yeah. Yes, <laughs> God. Back in the hotel, left to fix up costumes, Patsy and Fiona. I don't even feel like we're getting to really do much today. I do feel a bit like that. We should, have, we, should be, we should just move to Blue Peter. Right? No, I don't mind doing this because it's all for it leave, but I would have liked to have, because seeing as it's a show and it's theatrical, I would have liked to have performed a bit. Mm. We need to look at it always at a positive that maybe they think we're really creative and that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, let's look on the positive Because we're not performers, side. are we? I mean, you're not really a presenter and I'm not no. really an actress. <laughs> <laughs> In the boys' room, preparing their pitch, Jack and Jonathan. Oh. Good evening, Wembley. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a small Hello, Lincoln. No, it's a small room at the back of the Marriott. Surely, they... how are you doing? Where they have conferences for... Small room. ..dull businessmen, usually, so... If the, when the applause dies, I might need some help bringing them down. Mm. <laughs> no, no, really, you're too kind. Relax, chill out, chill out, chill out. Write down chill out. No, no. Chill out. Take a chill pill. To, right down there. No. I'll just head to Alan's table. Take a chill pill, Shug. No, Sugar. No, hang on. Sugar. Hey, sourpuss. Take a, take a chill pull. Hey, sourpuss. No, let's do this. Over there. Look at old Sugar's face. Sid James. Let's have him smiling. No? For the last five minutes, I haven't been listening to you. OK, but they're going to love this, trust me. Yeah. Go on, darling. Attack that one. Uh, Tonight, the teams can add to the entertainment with dancers. Uh, b -b 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 pirate, that's pirate hats. Sorry, I'll be one second, Danny. Gok has decided to dress his as children's storybook uh, characters. Finally, our astronaut Gok, we've got a wardrobe malfunction. Why, what's going on? We've got a fairy with childbearing nips. Just <laughs> 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 don't fit, love. It's a tuna, so you force yourself in it. <laughs> Lead soldiers. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, got, I'm just repeating. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Go you. away. Mission. Jack. Jack, look at this. Jack. Misery. Watch out. Tricky bit coming up, Jack. Not. Jack. Jack, look at me. What? Jack. Jack, almost fell. Look at this, like a tightrope walk. Yeah, you want a piece of me? Um, Jack. 
Can you help me up, Jack? Jack. We've got about ten minutes. I can't get up, Jack. Right. We better go, Jack. You in particular have got to keep it brief when you're up there, because otherwise it's going to... What? Yeah, because otherwise it's going to get... Um... Can I say I find it'll... that quite offensive? It'll go on too long. There's one other thing we need to put in there. Names of characters. Shit, yeah. Don't sit down again. We've got to go do it down there. I'll remind you later. Come on. Well, hang on. Who's going to say the, the names of the characters? We'll work it out down there. We've got to go. Come on. Bring your indigestion pills. Five hours to go. Come on, Mrs. Overall. Keen to join the rest of the team, Patsy and Fiona arrive at County Hall. And with time running out, Patsy has the job of choreographing the dancers. We're doing the dancing and everything with them just now, yeah? Yeah, in a minute. And then we're out of this room at um, one hour. Okay. We've got to clear this room. And yeah? That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Right, so next. Costumes. What will they be doing? It's driving me a bit crazy. I don't feel like we're a team at all. I feel like it's split into two camps. Me and Fiona are left to do what we want to do, and we don't know what's going on. We're not being told anything. OK. I need another column. I need another call. Fiona's going to see to the outfits if there's anything I'm else. Not being... No, I know that's what I'm telling you. I just need you to work out a routine with the dancers because we've just I got need one to. hour. I need to. I'm all right, Michelle. You don't need to worry about me. All I'm just saying I'm not to you. I'm doing the costumes. This is for the dance. Patsy, I'm just saying to you. Are you doing the dancers? Yes. <laughs> you 15 times for three days that I'm sorting out a routine with performers and dancers and you keep asking me and telling me what I should be doing I know what I'm doing thank you very much let's not waste time and you keep telling me what I need to be doing Patsy can I just tell you something do you want to just zip it because we don't need this right now don't tell me to zip it excuse Patsy. me love. I don't know who you think you are Patsy we Michelle, don't need this don't speak to me like that we don't need this don't speak to me like that We've I don't need you to keep do telling tonight. me what to do so go and get on with your job and I'll get on with mine I don't need you tell talking Patsy. to me like that Patsy can I just tell you we Sorry, don't need this me. in the teams I don't care about what you want to tell me about what I need to do but don't ever speak to me like that because I will walk out of the oh, Patsy room now okay yeah. you're dealing with the dancers you've got one hour okay thanks piss off Egos and power freaks all over the place, you know what I mean? Honest to God, I feel like I'm just going to leave after I've done this. They can get on with it. There you go. Patsy, don't go next. For you, honestly, either. I mean, you can't top this, can you? No, you can't top this. We just need a few more people here to, to be on the girls' team. Otherwise, I'll be alone with a couple mirrors, so it looks like there's a crowd. Well, it's essentially, you wasted the morning. It's a lack of asking around. Why, why, why can't you? Do you think just concentrate? I've been. We doing, needed to concentrate. I think I've done exactly what was required. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't even have the toys. All right. Jack and Jonathan turn up for final rehearsals. Hey. Right. I did that. This looks great. Glock, this looks great up here. I love this table. Fabulous. So, our dancers, are you ready? Are you characters? Any characters? Fabulous. Can I have you all more a bit dead? So now, officially, people are starting to come in. Music, please. And remember, you're staying in character. Look into my eyes. It looks good, huh? Bit bigger, please. And break down. Close down. You're now dead. Are we in? Yeah, come in. Hold it as though you're holding Hello. an iPhone and playing it. And while they're playing, and it needs to be this is a little bit like boring, yeah. I'll be playing it on my own. Okay. Do you want us over there? Yeah, over yeah. here. For Patsy, second thoughts. I was ready just to leave, you know, really was ready. I would have rather just gone. But then I called my husband and he really knows why I'm here and he knew how excited I was about it and everything. And he just said, you're staying. You're here for comic relief. It's the same. If you say you're going, you know, it's the same way around. So it's like I listen to him because I know he knows how passionate I am about this, you know. Yeah, 
That's good. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle of you. That's really excellent. That's good. Brilliant. We've not got that long to go. We've got less than 45 minutes to dress rehearsals. And I think with that, That's the product good. we have, yeah. the commercial that we have, we are going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Six PM. The boys will be first to pitch. Joining Sir Alan, toy industry experts, designers. And retailers. Sorry. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very kind. Thank you so much. Yes, in case there's any doubt, we are the boys' team. And first of all, we would like to say thank you all for coming to this very special Apprentice Does Comic Relief event. Uh, we're very excited to be here. We have something to show you that we think, we hope, you're going to love. We've made a commercial to show you. We like the commercial. We hope you do. And we hope it already sets the product up so you'll know exactly what it is afterwards and know how much you'll be selling it for when you do decide, inevitably, that we have the finest product. We're going to step out of your way. Guys, step back. Alan, take it away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, swap bell! <laughs> Only seven ninety nine includes free swappy worth one pound fifty. Swap bell. <laughs> That's the swap bell and the swappies, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Here's the idea behind it. Let me tell you where we came up with this from. We know kids love to collect. They like to trade, they like to swap, they like trends. You get the belt with your first swappy free. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't look great with one on. Alright? <laughs> With one on, it looks a bit cheap, OK? <laughs> Immediately, they want more. I'm going to hand you over to Gerald now. He's going to talk about the profit margins involved. Gerald. Yeah, I mean, it's a fabulous product. Somebody said that profit is sanity and turnover is just vanity. I think it was actually Sir Alan himself who made that. S some schmuck on Dragon's Den. Oh, it was a schmuck. <laughs> sorry. It was a, <laughs> a stupid comment. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> It's a very big profit on this, and we're hoping that they're going to buy 40 and 50 of these. Each. So it's going to be a high-ticket line. Let's have a look at the characters before we open the floor to questions. These are the characters we have so far. OK, we've got Princess Chakra, <laughs> Bute, Zunda, Bagu, and Kazam. And Jack, the space hunters and their alien prey, which the boys went crazy for. So we've got Glebo, Globulus, Philo and Klaxor, and across the top, the uh, Space Hunters, we got Colin, Dave, Barry and Pete. <laughs> it's work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> I think now I should open the floor to questions, would that be good? Good idea, yeah. OK, uh, does anyone have any questions for the boys' team? Congratulations on your design. Um, obviously, if you're TV advertising, you need to sell quite a few of these. Had you any idea of how many to get this to craze proportions? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots. Great right answer. Dell, answer that one. Well, I mean, we think that it is a sort of shit or bust product. It's either going to go. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, sorry. That won't be in the adverts. Oh, sorry. No, but what I mean by that is it's 
either going to fall flat on its face or it's really going to take off. It relies on all your friends having them, or a lot of your friends, like the Pokemon. We've got to be optimistic. And Gerald won't be in the adverts. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for being here. Thank you for your support. We hope you like the swap belt. Thank you very much. Guys, we nailed it. I think that's the result. Swappy. Swappy. No, we need one voice to say, here we go. Alan, do the toast. Are you ready? Swappy! <laughs> Swap bell! Only 7.99. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Next up, the girls. gentlemen lower tonight we present you a toy for children five to eight years old never seen before by the naked eye before I present our offering I would like to bring out my lovely co-player Carol Vorderman welcome Carol we would now like to present to you the all-new Stick stuck. Da 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 da. Thank you. I am stuck and Carol is stick. Here is what our costume was supposed to look like for the small children ages five to eight. That's enough. Dice man, roll the dice and tell us what each dice says. Right arm front. Right arm front. <laughs> there can be more than two players. All the players try to remain standing, forming weird and wonderful shapes. <laughs> Finally, when one player falls down, he or she loses. We all shout! to see where you'll stick, but if you fall, you'll come unstuck. Stick stuck! Stick stuck! Stick stuck! Stick stuck! Stick stuck! Let's stick stuck! Yay! Yay! Please do put your hands up and Ruby and Carol will steer themselves in your direction. And, and your name, Carol, and your name is? Uh, Mark. This is Mark. Mark will now speak. <laughs> it's quite an intimate game. My experience, I'm a toy manufacturer, uh, experiences that boys don't quite like to be quite so intimate with other boys and boys don't like to be quite so intimate with girls either of that age. So. Yeah, when we, it's just our experience of the <laughs> advert was that the kids put the suits on. The boys were more than happy to roll around. They were hugging each other. They were, these are little, you know how old we're talking about? We're talking about babies, five to eight year olds. They shouldn't have a problem with intimacy. You know, really not with each other at that age. May I say it's a wonderful product, the, the presentation was extraordinary, but I think you may have misunderstood the original brief. I think it was for 50 to 80 year olds. <laughs> well, it is a brand with ex capable of expansion, so we had that in mind, don't worry. Thank you so much for coming, all of you. Uh, we would like to leave you now with our brilliant Stick Stuck Dancers. As the teams relax for the first time in three days, Sir Alan has work to do. Double your market potential.
Next morning, the celebrities head for the boardroom. If we do go, though, I am going to turn around and I'm going to try and steal something from the boardroom. Yeah, so it'd be nice to have an ashtray or something, wouldn't it? Or, or teaspoons. Margaret. I might put Margaret under one arm. Take Margaret with you. Yeah, take Margaret under one arm. I'm a business person and I take this really business serious. Person. Business yeah. person. You took that really seriously. Yeah. Come on. No, but I've never been fired before. Yeah, and I'm worried that I could get fired. fired. Because Jonathan was amazing last night. Yeah, I think we all played up to all of our strengths. Which mean I kept quiet. Oh, yeah, exactly. Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start with the ladies' team. Please, with your uh, team manager. Absolutely, yeah. Not really all the time. Right. I know that we didn't always think it was. We were particularly is led very because, well. Is that because coming out of your showbiz world that you're not used to being told what to do and keeping to time? No, no, no. It? We didn't mind being told what to do, but we actually didn't know what we were supposed to be doing. What do you, what do you think about that then, uh, Michelle? I think I handled it to the best of my ability. I think that Patsy wanted to really work on her own and um, the whole task was to work as a team. And I think that was the issue. I think ultimately we've got, I honestly think we've got a fantastic product and we had a great launch and that was the business. All right, now, Gerald, you were the team leader, right? Yeah. Good team leader, chaps? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yes, you agree? yeah, I think so. You felt he was the team leader or did someone else kind of like um, take over a little bit? What are you laughing at? <laughs> He was, he was a good team leader. I think he was a good team leader. Yeah, no one took him. Keep him under control? Well, it's difficult to keep everyone under control. Jonathan is the sort of person who does like to monopolise. That's in his nature. And I felt that I... Humoured him a bit then, didn't you? No, I utilised his strengths to the full. Right. I felt utilised. OK. <laughs> <laughs> good. So, by the way, that's a lovely suit you're wearing today, and the shirt brings out your eyes wonderfully. Thank you so that's much. And that's still not going to make, not going to influence me in in your business. Have you been it? working out? We've all wondered. You look lean. Also, Sir Alan, if if you're in a firing mood, can I suggest the person who counts the chairs? Because <laughs> both times I've been in it, I didn't get a chair, and Fiona's the same, <clears throat> and that means we don't get water either. Anyway, it's a small point. Sorry. Right, OK, now, ladies, here's, here's, here's the news. One of the blokes from one of the very, very big toy companies said um, that he doesn't think the product is marketable in its, in its current form, right? They all said that the conceptually it was quite good. What none of us understood was throwing the, throwing the dice and all that stuff. Don't see how you throw the dice and get stuck together. The, the people there said they could understand that if you went into a bunch of kids and put these suits on them and just threw the kids in together mm. and said, go on, start jumping all over each other. The yeah. mere fact they got stuck together, yeah. that's it. The pink and blue uh, um, uh, thing, I think, is, a, is, is an absolute error because, you see, what pink and blue does is it kind of implies that it's boys and girls. It shouldn't have been pink. We, d we didn't want pink. Good, OK. You should have said that last night. All right, so I think I'm going to move on to the boys at the moment. You, you, you are homing in a little bit on this kind of collectability thing. Yeah, yeah. which we know is big. We and do. We, and we have a gut feeling that kids Why are Why do you know it's work. big? Between Gerald, Jonathan and I, we have ten children. Gok and Alan, we've got ten children, and we've, you know, we've been <laughs> through all of that experience, so we do know quite a lot about what kids like to buy at okay. that age. Uh, but 
can, may I just kind of direct you into where there is a possible error here? Yes, please do. Okay. I've got a problem of how you get this thing off the ground. That is my problem. How you get it off the ground. These items here are very expensive to tool up. Intricate detail like that is um, just a one impression injection moulding tool is going to be something like 50 or 60 thousand US dollars. And if you then make a multi impression tool so that when it goes together it moulds off 50 of them at the same time, you could be talking something like a quarter of a million dollars. How many of these things you got? How, How many, many different ones? Make initially? You, could, you could be 40 or 50. 40 initially. of these, that's yeah. 40 different separate tools have got to be made. Loads and loads of money in the tooling. Let's assume half the price that you sell them for, 60p, is your gross margin, which is 30p times 700,000 pieces. It's, it's not very much, it's 210,000. 210,000 pounds. A television Thanks. advertising Thanks, campaign yeah. for 210,000 pounds. If you blink like that, you've lost it, you've missed it. So how are you going to market this product? How are you going to get it marketed? Where is it going to take off? How is it going to, how is it going to become an epidemic? The problem is you've got a large entry to the market. So we didn't cost it thoroughly enough, really. The thing was, it is a business task, and it was supposed to be a task where the product, at the end of the day, had some legs. It was viable, OK? And that's what I've got to judge my decision on. Normally, I would, I would be capable of making that decision myself. On this occasion, let me tell you, this is a very close run thing, right? It is very, very close run. And I am having to rely upon the balance of what the experts have told me, yeah? And my conclusion is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that the girl's product wins. Well done, ladies. Well done. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. There you are. Very well done, ladies. Normally, um, the winning team gets a treat from me. Your treat is that you, you don't have to work for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's oh, your I'd treat. I'd love to work for you. Really? Yeah. But you wouldn't. I would. Um, You'd like us to work for you. Yeah, me. maybe. <laughs> thank, thank you very much indeed uh, for your great help. Comic Relief thanks you. We'll see if we can get that product marketed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And in, Minus um, VAT. in larger versions as well, please, yeah. Yeah. OK, Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Go, baby. Go, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, gentlemen, a very close run thing. The decision was you lost because your business proposition was not viable. You five gentlemen, go and step out there for a while, have a chat amongst, your, uh, amongst yourself. You'll be coming back in here. We'll discuss it in a little bit more detail. Eventually, one of you will be fired. OK? Come on, boys. It's all right. I'm gutted. Tomorrow night, on Comic Relief does The Apprentice. I haven't heard one credible reason because from it's you a product. at all it's a pro as to where it works. Right. Because, because it's a product. But we are getting nowhere I would here. certainly spend We're my money on this rather than a, a suit with Velcro on it for my kids. I, I don't think you should fire any of us. I think you should fire Nick. He did nothing and he borrowed money off me which I haven't had back. With regret, you're fired. Find out who gets fired as part of Comic Relief tomorrow night from 7 o'clock. Tonight on BBC One Wales, why people with eating disorders have nowhere to go in Wales. Dragon's Eye at 10.35.